So some of you new people out there, you may want to start prepping short term, 30 days and under, and you have questions. I got some answers for you coming right up next. Welcome back. My name is Charles. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And in this section here, we're going to be talking about the beginners and prepping for a short term 30 day or less supply and some of the things that you may need and how to do some of this stuff, especially right now with the limited uh, amount of products that are available in the stores. Because um, a lot of stores are limiting a lot of things to two cans or two things of each item. Um, right down from your main stores, your box stores, and, you know, everywhere. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna make a plan for your meals, all right? You wanna plan out what you, you know, what you already have, plan out some meals, you know, that you wanna to try to make some meals that you can get more than one meal out of. You know, maybe a lot of people don't like leftovers out there, I get it. But in a survival type situation, uh, you will do what you have to do and you'll eat what you have to eat to survive, okay? You wanna to put together a list of all your dry goods, all type of your dry goods. That means from your flours, your sugars, your salts, um, spices, um, baking powder, baking soda, all that kind of stuff. You wanna make sure that you have that on hand. So if you have to make your own bread because you can't buy it, you can do so. Um, you want to make sure that you know with your um, your dry goods as far as you know because you will need your baking powder baking soda uh, to make breads muffins that type of stuff um, oatmeal is a good one to be, make oatmeal muffins um, things that will last for a few days um, if you have to make a loaf of bread a day to survive then that's what you have to do but you got to make sure that you have all those dry ingredients and those dry goods um, in your home and those type of things, when you're talking a 30 day supply or less, uh, you can store them in some nice plastic containers or you may already have containers. Uh, you can take your flour or sugar and leave it right in the bag and put it inside of a big freezer bag and store it in a cool dry place. And for 30 days, it's gonna be just fine. Like I said, this is for the beginners and this is for prepping for short term. Um, you wanna put together also a list of your oils and spices and um, any type of way that you're going to be cooking, whether you use oil, you use Crisco, you use lard, you use um, you know specialty oils, whatever it is that you like to cook with or that you you know you deem that's how I fry my food, that's the oil I use in my recipes and all this stuff, make sure that you have those on stock. Um, you can, you know, uh, buy some of that in bulk where it would last you a lot longer. Um, so, you know, you may want to think about that also. Um, something else you want to put together of. You want to put together a list of canned goods. All right. <clears throat> your canned goods and your baby food. Now you want to go through your cabinets. You want to see what you have. Make a list. Yes, this may take you some time, but in the long run, you may not, if you've got, say, 10 cans of green beans, you don't need to buy any more green beans. You know, you can make those last if you had to for 30 days. You know, you're mixing them with other things. You know, as I have said in some of my videos, when it gets down to the nitty gritty, it's not about how much you're eating, it's how the portions are separated out of what you are eating. So if you make something and it says there's five portions at a half a cup, that's what you get. So, you know, you have to look at it that way. I know it kind of sounds cruel in a sense, you know, but it, it's not a smoker sport at this point. You know, but you also want to make sure you got your baby food, make sure you go through all your baby food and you're taking a list of, of all the different things that you have in there, what you may need for your baby and all that, and make sure that you have that also that is in your prep for your short term under 30 days. Um, another thing you want to try to make sure of is that you have water on hand, um, either bottled water, the small bottles where you buy like the 30, 40 pack, uh, gallon jugs of water, um, some type of way maybe to purify water if you have to, um, uh, 
any way that you can, can you can uh, containers for your water. Uh, if you want to buy like the five gallon jugs, you can get like at Walmart. Um, rather, they still have those right now um, because that doesn't seem to be quote the big issue. But in a 30 day prep survival type situation, um, if if something happened and they did turn say the water off for some reason or you had a disruption in your water uh, because a pipe burst or something like that you still have something to fall back on and you have that water supply because you need water to survive without water everything else is useless um, you want to make sure that you have your everyday meds whatever it is that uh, that you may take whether it be prescription drugs whether it be ibuprofen uh, Tylenol, um, cold medicines, um, any of that type of stuff that you may need, make sure that you keep them on, you know, you have on hand. You maybe have an extra one, an extra thing of toothpaste, an extra thing of toothbrushes, uh, extra thing of mouthwash, and so on and so forth. Make sure you've got bath soap, laundry soap. Did you see where I'm going with this? Make a list, see what you have in your house, and then take it from there. Um, you want to make sure that you do have at least a small first aid kit in your home. You should already, everybody should have one of those in their homes, whether you're a prepper or you're not a prepper. You should, everybody should have a small first aid kit in their homes in case of some type of an emergency that they, they may be able to um, tackle the situation until the proper authorities do arrive. Uh, the next thing is, is your paper goods and you know, we all know how this all went this time around, uh, you know, toilet paper, you know, I, I, I still just don't get the toilet paper, but you know, it is what it is. Um, you can check some of your smaller stores. Maybe if you can buy, uh, you know, some packs here, you may have to buy single rolls. If you can go to scratch and dent stores or 7-Eleven or, you know, your convenience stores, or whatever, even if you pick up a, a couple of rolls, um, you know, to get you through. Uh, I know they're still down here, they're still having issues with getting that and getting it on the shelf to keep it on the shelf because it's like people just keep buying the shit out of it. I don't understand it. I just don't get it. I don't know what it is. I think people think that that's going to be the lifesaver. Maybe they're going to wrap themselves up into, you know, like little mummies and walk around that way. Maybe they'll feel a little bit more secure. We'll get back on track here. But you want to make sure that you have diapers and paper plates and things of this sort because this way here, if say you didn't have water, you can you didn't have to worry about washing dishes. You can just throw the paper plates away or burn them if you had a fire and whatever. Um, your pets, uh, least but not last, your pets. You want to make sure that you have an, an you know an adequate enough supply of your your pet foods, cat litter, cat food. Uh, if you got birds, bird feed. If you got rabbits, you know you got to have hay. You got to have you know whatever they eat. You know um, it, whatever your pet is, just make sure that you have enough supply for your your 30 day emergency supply kit for your pets also, which does include in case they are on medicine. You know, some pets could be on medicine, they could be sick or whatever else, make sure that you have enough medicine for, for them and at that point. Um, if you do give your animals anything like uh, frontline, anything that uh, deters, you know, ticks and fleas and that kind of thing, uh, make sure that you do have that um, in a backup supply just on the chance that you're not able to get out and say all of a sudden summer rolls around and you don't have it for your pets, um, that could be very bad, especially if uh, they get bit by ticks and um, then they can get really sick and die and you don't want that to happen. So make sure that you do have the uh, an adequate enough things for your pets, you know, their toys and everything because your pets can stress out just like your kids can stress out. Um, make sure that, you know, in your 30 day supply kit, make sure you have a small, if you have kids, Make sure you have a small container where you can keep some type of, uh, uh, you know, games and stuff which you, you already may have in your house. Uh, that would maybe be on a worst case scenario that you had to leave. So that was just some things I wanted to bring out uh, for any new pe people out there that are wanting to start prepping. That, that would be a quick rundown on a 30 day or, or less supply kit for short term prepping. And that'll get you through. Um, 
you may already have a lot of stuff that's already in your house. Um, like I said right now, it's, it's kind of tough, but once we get back to, a, if we get back to a normalcy, you know, then you want to start shopping around, you know, and get your buy one, get ones, use your coupons, uh, and that type of thing. And then you can get a 30 day supply uh, set up. You probably also want to make sure, I'll throw this in real quick. Um, you want to make sure that if you're going to store this stuff, um, store it in a cool, dry, dark place. This way here, you know, it'll last longer. Don't put it out in a hot garage or an attic or something like that because the, the heat's gonna kill it, one, two, three. So my name is Charles. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And until next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.